So I'm here right now at Stone Mountain in Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. It's been a bit of a rainy day today, so I don't know how well y'all can see the carving here, but yeah, this is um, this is the carving of the three Confederate generals. I'm not. I think it's Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, and for the life of me, I don't know who the third one is. But yeah. Um, what I find really interesting about this carving, um, aside from the controversy, is just, it is quite magnificent. Like, I believe this is the biggest, um, ba is it called Ba's Relief, Ba Relief or Rock Relief carving in the world? It's actually bigger than Mount Rushmore. It took many, it took several decades to complete. It wasn't finished until 1971, but I believe it was started in the 30s or sometime in the early 20th century. Uh, so it was finished after Mount Rushmore, but I'm not sure if it was started before or after Mount Rushmore. It was, I know some of the same people were involved in creating it. But what's interesting about this is like, I'm looking at a historical monument right now that given what people are saying, there's a huge question, will this monument even exist 10, 20 years from now? with um, all these leftist agitators wanting to get rid of it. And as I've said in one of my videos before, I will reiterate, I can understand the argument that we shouldn't mess with nature, that like, you know, this mountain, this is basically a, it's a gray stone monolith. It's very unique. Like there aren't really any other mountains like this in Eastern North America to my knowledge. Like, I think this is like kind of one of a kind. I could be wrong, but like, it, it, it really, it sticks out, you know, it is, it's kind of like Ayers Rock or Aluru or whatever you want to call it in Australia, in the sense that it's like this big gigantic monolith that's kind of unto itself. And I can understand the argument that like, you know, it's beautiful in and of itself. Do people need to alter it? I understand that argument. But the thing is, if you got rid of the statue, it wouldn't be, the sculpture, it wouldn't be returning the mountain to its original form. It would just be creating this big, ugly hole in it. And it's like, why, you know? Like, regardless of what you think about the Civil War or the Confederacy, this is a pretty impressive work of art, you know? Like, I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see it because again, it, it kind of, you know, it was a rainy day today. So it's kind of wet right now, but I've zoomed in on it here. So maybe you can see the detail. But yeah, I mean, honestly, like, you know, it's like, what's the point? Like these people just want to destroy everything beautiful. Like just, let them have one nice thing here. Like, this is Atlanta. This isn't exactly a beautiful city. You know, this is, like, sprawl, modernism central. Like, this is not a very historically well-preserved city. Like, frankly, frankly, let them have this one thing, you know? And again, that's something that bothers me with the modern left, is that, like, you know, even 20 years ago... Your typical liberal would acknowledge the fact that, like, art for the sake of art has value. Like, I even remember liberals talking about how Triumph of the Will was an innovative film in terms of filmmaking techniques, regardless of, you know, what you think about Hitler and the Nazis and their ideology. But nowadays, would they admit that? Probably not, you know? Nowadays, um, like... A lot of them even pretend like, oh, I never liked Wagner. I, I never liked anything. It's, it's not like what they're doing with Russia, like saying like, oh, I never liked anything Russian. I never liked Russian architecture or Russian literature, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, it's the same thing with this. It's like, are you really going to deny that there was master craftsmanship here just because you're not a fan of the people depicted? Like, this is an impressive work of art. It's an objectively, it's not subjective, it's objectively an impressive work of art. And it's like, do you really want to get rid of that? Like, what happened to the idea that art for the sake of art has value and deserves to be preserved? Like, 
art that demonstrates quality craftsmanship. Like liberals used to acknowledge that they used to value it, but nowadays it's like they they just I don't know. I mean, and granted, both sides of the spectrum will support the destruction of historic architecture, but for different reasons, you know. Right-wingers usually support it for monetary reasons, whereas left-wingers support it for ideological reasons. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, right now it's like historic architecture is pretty much under attack from all sides of the political spectrum, and it's actually kind of like the normies, you know, saying, like, just let me travel, you know, kind of like, just let me grill. So anyway, um, those are my thoughts on, uh, on Stone Mountain.